Ultra Algo here, and today we are excited to announce the release of our latest script. It's for automated trading, and it's available exclusively in TradeStation. We also have scripts available that live uh, directly on TradingView, and we also have our proprietary application that was built on R, and that's for portfolio optimization and allocation. So in order to uh, access the TradeStation script, uh, we'll walk through the steps on how to access it and then how to use it in your environment. So in order to uh, register for the script, what you're going to do is uh, navigate to ultraalgo.com, scroll down the screen, and then you will see our latest script, which is for automated trading, and you can see all the features relating to that. And then just click on learn more, and you will be... Um, you will be sent to the TradeStation uh, App Store. And here you can actually subscribe directly within their interface. And it gives you some background around the scripts. You can also see an example of uh, how it performed. Um, so this was particularly on Mara. And you can see the results and the performance on the bottom of the screen. So uh, in order to uh, access the script, um, what you're going to do is you're going to navigate into your TradeStation account. Before we do that, we highly recommend that everyone uh, reviews the Ulta Algo website and we have an installation page um, specifically around how to use the script. So here you can see the script for TradeStation and all the information that's available. Uh, we do have instructions for how to use uh, use it for manual trading as well as for automated trading. Today we're going to focus exclusively on automated trading. So you'll open up TradeStation and we recommend having version 10 uh, activated in your environment. Um, so if you not, have not upgraded to version 10 of TradeStation, we highly recommend you do so uh, as it has a lot of features that weren't previously available and we feel that the interface is a lot nicer as well. So first thing you do is click on chart analysis. And that will pull up a chart. Great. Um, we usually like to double click on it so it takes the entire breadth of the screen. Second thing is modify your time frame. Um, we want to look at, a, uh, at the last two months as an example. So here you can select uh, last date, and let's put in a two here, and it says days back if you want to look at individual days, or you can look at weeks, backs, uh, sorry, weeks, months, or years. So let's put uh, months, and then select OK. Perfect. To zoom in or zoom out, just uh, use the features available on the bottom of the screen to allow you to uh, view a larger period of time. And then the next thing we're going to do is um, we're going to activate one of the features that are available by default within TradeStation, and that is under the studies. So at the top of the screen, you'll see a tab for studies. Select Add Study. And what we're looking for is a, a strategy called uh, Strategy Equity. Here we go. Click on it, and then select OK. Perfect. Now, uh, this feature will allow us to see the performance of the script. We obviously don't have a, uh, the study running on, this, on the screen yet, so therefore it's not going to show anything on the bottom of the screen. So we have to add the strategy. So you'll click on Studies, Add Strategy, and then navigate down to Ultra Algo. And then click OK. Now uh, this is just showing me that this this is the script that I want to that I want to uh, make available, and um, what am I interested? in? Am I interested in buying, shorting, sell short, and buy on cover? Click OK, and now the script is displaying. Now the default settings obviously haven't been customized uh, to match the movements on this particular security, so it shows that the returns were less than optimal. Now, what we're going to use is the most powerful feature of this uh, script, which is the ability to optimize. And the way you would do that is you would click on Studies, Edit Strategy, 
And please uh, reference the performance that we made a negative 25 using the default um, the default settings, negative 25 in terms of uh, re returns on investments and profits. So we click on edit strategies, and then here's the script. You'll select the script and click customize. From there, we can modify any number of settings here and optimize it using their optimization tool. So as an example, we'll select gain and we're going to click optimize and then we can put a range. Let's put a range of one to eight. We can go all the way up to 15 and then click OK. Then for the number of standard deviations, let's modify that and we'll select optimize and we'll put a range of one to five and click OK. And then finally, it, it tells us, do we want to close a trade at the end of the day? It's currently listed at true. We're going to leave it at true for now. So now we've only modified two of these parameters, but you have the ability to modify all of these parameters. Adjust the amount of stop loss to a lower amount or higher amount. Same thing as profit targets. Um, you can change this close end of day from true to false. So that means it doesn't close at the end of the day and it keeps on running. Uh, adjust the bars enter, ultra bull, and ultra bear, and that's uh, referencing the um, um, the range that you want to reference in terms of uh, how many bars of movement in terms of uh, the bullish and the bearish uh, patterns, and um, and then the length. The length is the look back period that we're referencing in order to deliver some of our calculations. So uh, we've only modified two of these set settings, and you can see that it actually adjusts us from here in the game. We put in a range of one to eight, and, um, and then the number of standard deviations, we put a range of one to five. Now, uh, the next step is just to press OK. So we'll click OK. And, um, and now what we're going to do is we're going to actually click on the Optimize button. And now let's click on the Optimize, and let's see what happens. It's running its calculations. And now it shows us our uh, performance. So our performance went from a negative, uh, negative uh, result to a positive one, where your, your return is going to be $562. Now, this is uh, continuously closing the, um, your trade at the end of the day. Now, let's see what happens if we, if we remove that, uh, you know, that function to close the trade at the end of the day, because it's less than optimal or it should be less than optimal. Um, right now, the returns were 562, so let's make that modification. So we'll click on Studies, Edit Strategy, and here we're going to customize this. And this, we're not, we're not running the optimizer for this, we're just gonna change this close end of day from true to false. And click OK. Now, we are going to close this tab and let's see what happens. Huh. So what happened was that if we do if we do not close the trade at the end of the day, it gives us a um, uh, a negative twenty two sorry a, a twenty two dollar profit. But we haven't ran the optimizer yet again because we just changed one of the values. So let's run the optimizer one more time and see what happens. Now that we've made that modification, because there was a significant modification, whether to close the trades at the end of the day or not. So we'll click on Studies, Edit Strategy, and we've selected the script by default, Customize. And we're going to modify these functions again. So the Gain, Optimize, and we'll put a 1 to 8, click OK. And then the number of standard deviations, let's do the same thing, Optimize, 1 to 5. And now we're going to click OK. We're going to optimize it one more time and let's see what happens. Now it shows me that the results of this delivered a, uh, a profit of $236. Initially it operated at a loss, but then eventually turned profitable. Now, um, what we can deduce from this is that it is in our benefit to close the trades at the end of the day. So that is definitely a strategy that we would consider leveraging when trading this moving forward. Thank you for watching the technical video.
if you're interested in improving your overall trading strategy, we recommend you start a seven-day free trial with Ultra Algo. This tool is designed to help traders easily identify buy and short opportunities across securities listed on all major exchanges. That includes the New York Stock Exchange, NASDAQ, OTC, or any other major market. It's also available for Forex and crypto trading. Start a seven-day free trial at Ultra Algo.